Hello, everybody. It's Miss Div Energy, yes, aka Divine Energy, and I am here with your well, drum roll, please. Weekly love reading. Yes, I am bringing the weekly love readings back for each individual sign, which means they won't be as long. They won't be like 30 minutes or anything. They'll be like 15 minutes, quick, straight to the point, okay? And these readings, I'm going to do a quick uh, basis of how they their energy towards you, your energy towards them, and what's going on in the connection. A few oracle cards. I'll do... Excuse me. After that, I'll do a quick spread for the couple. I mean, for the people that are in separation. And then I'll do a quick spread for the singles, okay? But these are going to be pretty quick, okay? If I'm going to bring these back for you guys. Um, this is going to be for my lovely Sagittarians. I owe the special Sagittarius a reading. I do apologize, but I'm here, okay? I've been having a very trying end of the year, but we're going to get through it, okay? Um, so we're going to get started here. Also, for my readings, uh, check me out at MissDivEnergy at gmail.com if you would like my more in-depth readings, soul readings, uh, purpose readings, things like that, longer phone or voice recorded readings or video chats, hit me up at my Gmail. But if you want a quick reading straight to the point, I have different options for that on the site Wizio. The link will be posted in the description box below, okay? Also, where you can donate in my cash app, which is Mr. Energy. You can donate there if you want to do any donations or give anything. That'll be in the description box below as well. All the information you'll need will be in the description box below. So I don't want these to be too long. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, and it can be for cross watchers, but you know, you have to reverse the energy and all that, but I really want to give it to the person whose sign it is. All right. Um, this is going to be for Monday, December 20th through December 26th. Uh, I want to say happy holidays to everyone, especially the ones that are in the U S or, you know, wherever you, um, celebrate or Hanukkah or whatever it is. Just happy holidays, guys. Okay. So we are going to get into it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video. So let's get it with our Sagittarians here. Okay. All right. So we're going to do uh, uh, how what's your energy towards them and what's their energy towards you and then what's going on in the connection. Okay. So we're going to get to that right now. Hope you guys have been doing well. I know you guys have been waiting, but like I said, everything is a toss-up right now. You know what the holidays is straining us even more. So them. And I will be putting timestamps for uh, regular relationships, which I'm doing now. Relationship, couple, situationship. That's the main basis of the reading. Then I'll have a timestamp for singles and for the ones that are in separation, okay? All right, but the first thing we're starting with are the people that are taught, you know, maybe on the outs, but you know, you're in a relationship or a situation. All right, Holy Spirit and Archangels, what is their energy towards the relationship or situation? Uh oh, it's a lot going on. Okay. Like I said, these will be shorter, and y'all probably like shorter anyway. The monthlies will be the readings where I have them longer than usual because they have more information in them. I'm trying to pick up your energy in it, Sag, and it's like, I don't know what type of way you feeling. Okay, finally, I said, and you were very hesitant to give me a card, and you pulled the card hesitation. So there might be some type of hesitation on your end with this connection, Okay. Um, so this is going to kind of like be a mix of oracles and, um, uh, the tarot so we can make this a little faster. I've been trying to get my readings down to like 15 minutes for the past month now. And y'all know I likes to talk. Mm, two cards for you here. And then we're going to pull one of these and we'll do some cards for the uh, situation that's surrounding the connection at this point in time, okay? Okay, and then we had, I believe, one more from the Romance Oracle deck, if I can find it. Um, I just had that. Where did it go? I'm going crazy, guys. In my, oh, here it is in my face. I put it right here so it'll be right in my face and I still didn't see it. Okay. Just 
And then we'll see what's going on. I love it when they pop out. I hate it when they just fall over and just be lamp. Okay. Now this could be somebody new, old, or whatever. I'll see what vibe I'm feeling once we do it. I also didn't do these live because I, um, this is not live. It's just a premiere, guys. I remember people used to always, when I used to premiere these, they used to always think it was live. No, it's not. Okay. And then we're going to do the overall energy for the relationship. And then we're going to get started. Ooh, shoot. Mm. Okay. Okay, and one more. Man, I wish I could be one of those readers that do the um, do it all on um, do it all before you guys get here. But I like to do the card shuffle on here. Okay, so we're gonna get into it. Let's get started for my lovely Saggies. You pulled Fifth Dimension. This is the overall energy of the connection. You pulled Ascend and Receive. Love Oracle. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So this is giving me the energy that you guys might have um, reconnected. For some, you can feel this person on a spiritual level maybe if you're not in contact with each other. But this is a connection I feel like you feel that's deeper than most. Um, I feel like you're going to a new level of commitment or like I said, getting back together, okay? Um, some of you guys could be receiving something as well. You know, it is around the Christmas time. Um, Open-minded, abundant, ready. It's your time to receive. So this relationship can kind of receive a blessing at this time, uh, a one-up, a little push. Um, you guys could have been through a lot. The past is now behind you, so you could have been coming out of a tumultuous place with your person, okay? Um, so on their end, they are feeling... But I feel like a feeling of uh, you guys coming back together. They have abundance. Maybe they were focused on their coins or this could be somebody that is abundant. Okay. Uh, getting to know each other. Now, this is if um, this is if this is a new person. Maybe you just got over an ex and now you're ready to ascend to a deeper love. Okay. That could be the case as well. So you can be getting to know somebody. Uh, this person could be abundant, but they could be dealing with a little shadow work that they need to be uh, focused on. This person may be into spirituality. We have the seven of wands here. Um, they could be trying to block out their, their I don't want to say bad side, their shadow side. They could be really giving something a real go, really getting to know you, really trying to get with the connection. Um, or maybe this person wanted to get their funds or something together first before they could put their all in. Yeah, we have forgive here. They could want you to forgive them or maybe they have to forgive you or maybe you guys both fucked up and uh, you guys have to forgive each other. Okay, we have creativity in winter. I feel like this person is getting maybe a lot of downloads now that the winter time is coming. We actually are going into winter really starts with December 21st. Soon, the real winter. Yeah, I think the solstice is coming up. If I'm not wrong, you guys can put it in the comments. Um, But yeah, it's like... They want you to forgive. This seems to give the energy of somebody wanting to move on. They don't want to um, think about the arguments or whatever. This person knows that they're not perfect, but I feel like they're kind of trying to make it up to you, okay? And your energy is, okay, we got the worry energy here. Maybe you felt like this person wasn't coming back. They weren't going to get their shit together. But we see that you believe that this is true love. This could have been somebody that works a lot or maybe they put their finances first because their card came out as abundance. They might have this abundance now. Um, or they might have told you, like, maybe I just got to, you know, make the bag. I'm going to be back. I got to focus on me for a little bit. Maybe somebody wanted a break. Um, but somebody wanted to build on a firm foundation, okay? And I felt like money um, kind of played a big role here, okay? Um, while you were on this journey, you were trying to get yourself, like, a firm foundation, uh, trying to figure out who you really are on your own sacred journey. Uh, we have the Ten of Wands, and then the Queen of Wands came out. Okay, that's Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. I didn't have any other signs that came out. Um, so, but you were feeling burdened. Okay. You had a lot of baggage or some things that you needed to work on with yourself. Um, and you were kind of hesitant, especially if this is a new person, you were kind of hesitant because you had a little baggage. Okay. They had the hesitation with the 10 of wands here. That's giving me baggage. Okay. 
Um, but you're trying to get, you were trying to get your light back. You were trying to get rid of some of those burdens. Uh, I feel like you went through some type of stuff. You went on a sacred journey dealing with this. You might've wanted to focus on finances or worried about your, uh, stability and you just focus on that. So now that somebody is ready, I could kind of feel like maybe, but you feel like this is true love. Maybe you're not ready or you're hesitant, especially if this is a new person. Now, if this is an old person coming back, it's like they got their shit together. Now it's like, oh, I was focusing on me now. I need to finish getting my shit together. So while they're all feeling abundant and full, you still have a little worry. But it's like right now you guys are getting ready to receive, okay? The past or whatever happened is behind you. I still feel like that past is kind of on you even though you're trying to release it. So they can want to move on and make it better while you're still dealing with the baggage of what happened in the past, okay? But I feel like this person, they want forgiveness. They might want to talk this out um, and, you know, deal with this. Um, but I feel like the answers to all this will be coming around this time. It says winter. Okay. This person could be coming more balanced in themselves. And it seems like you're still trying to become balanced and gain your footing back from whatever went on. Okay. I feel like there'll be some type of renewal or somebody is coming in. So try not to be so burdened or try not to let that shit from the past relationship weigh in on the new one. Try to do it with a clean slate. And even if it's an old person, try to have a clean slate. See if you guys can, can forgive each other. Um, I know you're a little hesitant, but this person seems a little genuine. Not a little, but they seem genuine to me. Okay, I'm going to pull on their intentions towards you. Holy Spirit and Archangels, what are their um, intentions towards Sag? Yeah, Ace of Wands. Somebody wants a new beginning, okay? Ace of Wands here. Mm-hmm. They want a new beginning. That Somebody wants you to think about a new beginning. I'm seeing this Ace of Wands like it's in the middle of their head. It's like they want you to think about that passionate new beginning. They're trying to, I'm hearing reactivate. Yeah, King of Cups, they're in their feelings. They're coming towards you. Their intentions is Ace of Wands with King of Cups. Yeah, they all in their feelings and they seem genuine with it. And Nine of Pentacles, this was like the single card, okay? So it's like they're thinking about getting into their emotions now, okay? Nine of Pentacles is very like abundant and well off. It's really giving me the idea of somebody that wants to want it to be financially or stable before they offered this okay that's for some of you guys that might not be for everybody but other than that it's like they're single and abundant on their own now and they feel like they're ready to come back or ready to be in a relationship or this is a new person who feels like they've done with their dealt with their issues their shadow side they've become one with themselves they found themselves and they're ready and it's kind of like somebody over here is like hesitant still kind of dealing with shit you know, even though that they feel like this is real, they might have things going on at work and finances. So they have a little worry over them. OK, it's coming up in your energy, but it could be them or vice versa. All right. But I feel like this is fifth dimension. Don't let the past ruin something. OK, that would be the overall if I was to give it a title. OK, don't let the past ruin this. All right, that's going to be y'all title, okay? So now we're going to go into the uh, people in separation, and then we'll do a quick pull for the singles, all right? So let me get all my cards here. Uh, just want to make sure I got all the right ones, because they both kind of look alike, the decks too. All righty. Yeah, let's not mess it up, Saggy. It look like something that could be decent. And we don't want to do that. Okay. I didn't do so bad. That's 13 minutes. I think we are on the right trail, y'all. Okay. Then my feelings cough looks okay. All right. Don't the past ruin this. Even if it's a new person or oh. Because it seems like somebody's coming in genuine. And I don't say that often, okay? And, you know, that's not for everybody. If you're kind of confused still, you can reach out to me for a reading on Wizio or a reading on um in my Gmail. Total depends up to you. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping some more heats. Okay? So, now we're going to do the ones in separation. If you got into a bad, you broke up, broke up, um, wondering what this person may be thinking or, you know, what's going on. All right? Holy Spirit, what is the spread for the ones in separation? Uh -oh. 444, 1444, when I said that. I've been seeing fours like crazy. Okay, too many cards. What is the message for my people in separation? Okay.
They want to fall out so bad. <laughs> but they're not dropping. And these cards are shaped so funny. I try to shuffle them, but they be hard, okay? Alrighty. For my saggies and separation, pure on out, not talking separation, not like we broke up for a few days or we know we're going to get back together and all that. No. Full out separation. It's been a while, you know? What is the energy for my loves are in, that are in separation? Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, we'll take those. And the energy around this. Now this could be you, them, or whatever, the whole situation itself. All right, okay. So, um, for a separation, we have happiness and purpose. Um... I feel like you guys are kind of coming to terms with this. This might have been a uh, separation. You might have felt like this was a lesson. It was a purpose for this. Um, trying to get your happiness back here. We have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel love. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. It's giving me a lot of energy for the ones that are in separation that feel like it. Because it's different between separation and single. We feel like you might guys, you guys might get back together. It's just like you didn't break up this week and you know you're going to get back together. That's what I mean by separation. But single is like totally out of your energy, single. But we're going to do a pull for that too. But I feel like... Uh-oh. My nose ring came out, guys. Um, I feel like... Um, uh, somebody's getting their happiness back, uh, their purpose. It's also have, uh, you can allow joy into your life. So it's like you guys could be getting your energy back. You're, you know, you're getting out of the energy of being separated from this person. Kind of maybe going into like single energy now where you're coming to terms with it. Okay. Uh, it says that this connection could have been affected by children. Somebody could have had a child on someone or you guys could still have children. You're just not communicating. Maybe you just communicate for the children. Okay. Um, we have, we were two different. That's why I'm with someone similar to me. So somebody can, um, it just didn't work out. It, it didn't have to be a knockout, drag out, uh, breakup could have been, but it's like, it was, we know what this relationship for, was for. We know the lessons, uh, but we can be happy because I, I feel like that energy of being okay with it. Um, like I said, somebody feels like you guys are too different. You had to find somebody that was more on the wavelength, okay? Maybe you had a nine to five. Maybe they were an entrepreneur. Maybe you guys had different religions. It's giving me the energy of like it was a reason why this just could not work, okay? Maybe somebody had children, somebody didn't, and it, it didn't vibe well, okay? So we said, I should have believed you. You always had my best interest at heart. So maybe even through all of this, like you guys deeply still cared for each other. You know what I mean? You guys kind of made each other happy, but it was just like something that was just too different. They kept clashing in the lives, but it doesn't have to be like cheating or anything like that. Could have been, um, somebody could have traveled for work too much or traveled too much, um, on the go too much. And somebody could have been a homebody. That could have been an issue. Um, somebody also had to learn their self-worth. This person could have been in the com community. Somebody could have been in the spotlight a lot. And this could have made somebody jealous. Maybe that could have been, like, too similar. Like, this was a regular person. This was somebody that was famous or always in the limelight, okay? Um, it's like you guys had good romance. Um, they were good with maybe going on trips and different things like that. But I feel like it was, like, a superficial or shallow come together. It wasn't really... Like I said, you guys are too different. Maybe it was just your lives were too different. Like, say if this person was, like, semi-famous and always on the go, and then you're, like, a homebody with kids, that kind of wouldn't work. You guys wouldn't see each other much, but it's like the feelings were still there. It's just you guys might have agreed that it was mutual, that just not going to work, okay? So that's what I see for the ones in separation. I, if I had to vote on if that's coming back around, the energy is giving me no right now. It's like you guys agreed to be apart, or it's just, like, something that that's a deal breaker that just, eh, it's not going to work, Okay? But it's like everybody seems happy. Everybody knows the purpose of what it was. Maybe you guys were just hump buddies or a friend for the time being or somebody to talk to or whatever. Okay. So that's it for that. Now we're going to get into singles and see what's going on here. Okay. See who's coming in for you singles. Okay. Holy Spirit and Archangels. What is this energy for the singles and who's coming towards them possibly in the next week? And like I said, this is for December 20th through the 26th. Okay. This is just a weak energy, guys. That's why we're not going too deep.
And like I said, happy holidays. Mom. Happy. Yes, I'm on. I'm recording. Yes. Oh, Derek said I'm Huh? Derek said I'm I thought that he was. <laughs> In a minute. Is he not here, is he? Oh, uh, no. Okay. I thought he was. It's probably just my phone was off because I was recording. All right. I, all right. It's cool. Okay, guys, sorry about that. <laughs> we have uh, the feelings for the singles. We have humor. You guys are choosing to focus on the lighter side of life. Okay? Let me make sure it's on. Um, they think I blocked them and I haven't. I just have my phone on Do Not Disturb. Okay. Oh, and loneliness. Okay. So, you guys are trying to find... Um. It's so funny that the singles will get loneliness. I feel like you guys are coping with your loneliness or like people think that single people are just all lonely. And even if you do get lonely, sometimes it's like you, you it's not really bothering. You got humor with it. Like, okay, it is what it is. I'm just waiting on my person. Whatever. Okay. So I feel like you guys are coping with it pretty good. I don't usually use this deck, but it's calling me to use it right now because I don't even know why I picked it up. So the energy we have is uh, humor and loneliness. Uh, but like I said, you're finding a way to cope with the loneliness. Like keeping yourself busy, whatever. Yeah, we have four of swords and nine of swords. Yeah, just taking a break. Um, I feel like a relationship or something took a, a mental toll on you guys. And you're kind of like taking a break from it. Yeah. It's like you're, you're putting yourself into loneliness. Yeah, single and abundant on your own. Seven of Swords. Um, even though you're trying to shrug it off, go through with it, try to see the lighter side of things. We have the Seven of Swords. It is some type of deception, some type of truth you're hiding from yourself. Some of you guys could be saying, like, I don't need anybody, or you know what I mean, or or I'm healing, I'm fine. But it's like uh, maybe not healing correctly, like not taking it serious, like trying to laugh it off instead of really doing the healing because there is a little worry and anxiety here. There is a little self um, self-denial here with the seven of swords that you are in, in pain. Like we need to deal with the pain. It's like a, a peacocks. They show their best part. You know what I'm saying? They, they pump themselves up. I'm, yes, I'm fine. And I'm single. I really don't feel like it's the case. It might start to take a toll. So you're trying to take a break, like a mental break. Yes. Yeah, seven of pentacles. You're watering your own grass, trying to make things grow alone. For some of you guys, you might like to walk around in your house in lingerie. I, I can't help but notice that little... Like, they're going to pour me up some tea. Fuck these people. I'm worried about my coins. But I still feel like you kind of care. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Ice Queen right now. You guys are being um cold. No feelings. Like, okay, so it's giving me the energy like blocking out feelings. You could be saying, I'm, 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 I'm focused on my coins. Ain't no feelings, B. You feel me? <laughs> Ain't no feelings. Okay, don't do that. That's not the healthiest way. You still want to be open. You don't want to be bitter. You don't want to be emotionally cut off. Okay, you still want to deal with those emotions. Okay, one day you might be sad that you're sleeping alone. One day you might be okay with it. But take that energy and transmute it in a healthy way. Don't just block out everything. Okay, when you first get single, you kind of do that. Oh, fuck everybody. Ain't nobody right. I'm trying to date. Everybody's fucking dumb. I've been there. I be there sometimes. You feel me? Everybody's fucking stupid. You know what? I'm just going to order my nine cats. Okay, that's kind of like what I'm getting. Order my nine cats and my rocking chair because, bitch, apparently I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. That's the energy that I'm getting for you guys. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so that is you guys' is Excuse me, reading. I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, we were at the 25-minute mark, darn it. Uh, that is your weekly reading for December 20th to the 26th for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and as Cross Watchers, if you choose for it to be that. Um, like I said, if you want an in-depth reading, reach out to me at MissDivinity at gmail.com, just like the channel says, or reach me out at Wizio. I have a holiday 15% discount for you guys. I will be doing some free readings for Christmas and around New Year's for you guys, too. That'll be like a sip and chat uh, live. I'll give you details about that. We will be doing the vision boards for the uh, January 1st. So we're going to try to do that. I got to do it after Christmas, though. We might go for doing those on Sunday. We might can do that. Uh, that'll be the day after Christmas. So, yeah, I'll be in the house still chilling. So, yeah, Sunday we'll do. We'll shoot for the vision board Sunday. So try to get you guys the supplies. Just a poster board from the dollar store for a couple of bucks. Some markers and some magazines with some goddamn pictures. We're not going to make it hard, okay? All right, guys. Just make sure you guys uh, pay attention to the community tab on the uh 
got YouTube page where it gives you updates. I have polls for different questions I want to ask you, answer you, ask you guys. So make sure you be checking out the community tab. Different memes I put up, different websites and stuff. A lot of information are going to go on there. Now the Wizio link, it will be in the description box below if you want to get in on those readings and that 15% discount. I believe it goes to January 1st or January 3rd. I got to check it out. Um, and it'll have the code that you have to use. It's holiday something, but I have that all down there by the time this gets uploaded and you see it, okay? There will also be timestamps for separation and singles as well. I hope you guys have a great holiday. Love you and wish you the best for Mr. Energy. Bye-bye.